Hello, good day to everyone. So I'm here to show you how to use one of our equipments here at the physics laboratory, which is the voltmeter. Okay, so the voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference in two points of a certain circuit. Okay, so before we start, we should calibrate the voltmeter first. So in calibrating or before using the voltmeter, you should see that the pointer or the, the pointer should be pointed at the zero value okay in this case although i think it's not quite seen uh it's not yet pointed to zero so how do we calibrate that how do we place it to the zero so we just turn this knob here this black knob with the flat screwdriver for the needle to move it's either going upwards or downwards to, or going near or farther to zero okay i'll recalibrate it first So now, hopefully you can see the needle, it's now pointed directly at zero. Okay, so before we use it in testing a certain circuit, we should test it first in a battery. Now, this is a common motorcycle battery rated 12 volts. Now, the rating or the numbers here above the needles are from 0 to 15, so 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So meaning it has a maximum uh, rating of 15 volts so you can measure uh, DC DC batteries and circuits which are not uh, exceeding 15 volts okay so anyway normally our batteries are until 12 volts especially remember that this voltmeter is used for DC circuits not for AC circuits okay meaning it's for a DC source not an AC source okay so let's try it let's measure now the red knob here signifies the positive positive side okay and then the black is the negative side now there's there are symbols written positive and negative but you should know that color red signifies positive and the black signifies negative okay likewise in the battery the red signifies the positive side and the black signifies the negative side now i place some alligator clips okay for me to be able to clip it better or to connect them better okay so the positive side of the voltmeter goes to the positive side of the battery and the negative side of the battery goes to the negative side of the voltmeter okay now we can see the reading of the battery uh, it's moving there okay so the battery has a rating of around 8.75 volts so meaning this battery is not fully charged anymore now these are charge rechargeable batteries if you reach the value of uh, 6 you should charge it for your motorcycle to run swiftly under your lights and so on so meaning a few more use of this battery and uh, it, it won't be suitable anymore for your motorcycle okay so now we go to a circuit So I have here a simple circuit, okay? So three bulbs are connected. It's one, two, and three. So let's say this is your first bulb, second bulb, third bulb. So they are connected in series, okay? So I'm going to connect them to a source. I'm currently using a converter, okay? So it has uh, adjustments from three volts until 12 volts, okay? Now I, I have a rating of 10 volts now. For me to power these three bulbs okay so again the positive side of the converter goes to the positive side of the circuit and the negative side of the battery goes to the negative or the converter sorry okay so as you can see the three bulbs are lit hopefully you can see them huh? they are lit okay this one this one and this one okay now this is a serious circuit meaning uh, if one bulb is disconnected all of them are disconnected so it just proves that the current flows in a single loop okay so now we're going to to measure using the voltmeter the voltage across each of these bulbs okay so that we may know which one uses more power as you know it's a serial circuit therefore the current is constant and then the change will be in the voltage so as you know power is your voltage multiplied by your by your current okay so let's measure each of the bulbs okay now your voltmeter or 
wire. So remember that this is the positive side of your load or your lamp. Okay, so positive side and a negative side. Okay, so anyway, it's signified by the red alligator clip, meaning it's, it's coming from the positive side of the converter or the battery. So the positive side of your voltmeter goes here. Okay, and then the negative side of your voltmeter goes here. hard to clip okay so now you have a rating of still moving of 3 volts okay so meaning this uh, bulb or this load uses 3 volts okay it consumes 3 volts okay so we go to the next bulb now remember uh, look at the needle if the polarities or the charge if you would place it differently, let's say the negative side of the voltmeter goes to the positive side of the battery, and then the negative goes to the positive, then the positive goes to the negative. Okay. You can see the needle. Hopefully you can see the needle, no? Okay. See? Okay. So it won't it won't be going uh, clockwise, it'll be going counterclockwise. Okay, if ever. So it's going below zero if you have the polarity or the charge wrong. Okay. So let's do it. So the first is this first load has a rating of three volts. Okay, now let's try the second. So this is your positive side. It goes here. Remember the flow is this way. Okay, it's clockwise. Now the negative goes here. There. So we have a rating of uh, three point. 3.5 volts so this uses more voltage okay or this needs more voltage to be powered up okay so these bulbs have, bulbs have different ratings okay? so that's why they have different voltage values okay? then finally the third okay oh see it's inverted okay the flow is this way so negative and positive there so I think it's still 3 volts okay uh, so now we now know with this circuit so we we measured their potential difference from two sides okay so the first load or the first bulb uses 3 volts the second uses 3.5 and the third uses 3 volts so meaning the second bulb uses more power than the other two the first and the third bulb let's turn it off and the power okay so that's the main purpose of the voltmeter to measure the voltage across two points in a certain circuit so i hope this video helped in for you to use the voltmeter i think that's all and again good day to everyone